thank everybody for coming to the opening, and we have Jenny, who's going to talk to you all the way from Texas. Hi, my name is Jenny Kimbrough, and I am from Houston, Texas. I actually grew up in Missouri, though, so I grew up outside of Kansas City, and I have always been an artist, I think, because my mom is an artist, and her whole family is artists, so for me, growing up has always had painting and drawing and art involved, so even when I was just little, I thought, you know what I'm going to be when I grow old, I'm going to be an artist, and then when I got a little bit older, I thought, no, I'm going to be a scientist because my dad's a scientist. And by the time I got into high school, I realized that as much as I enjoy science, that the more I knew about it, the less I cared. <laughs> but the more I knew about art, the more I just, I loved it. I loved creating, and I still, everything that I like the most is a process of creating. I like creating art, I like creating music, I like creating food, so whenever I got out of high school I decided to go to college for getting a BFA and I went to Missouri State University and got my BFA in drawing, um, well studio art with an emphasis in drawing, and then after that I went and did some graduate work at Wichita State University. And from Wichita, we moved, I got married while I was in Wichita, and my husband and I moved to Houston because he got a job. And so now I, we've lived there for five years, and it's a lovely town to work in. And um, so since living in Houston, I have started this new body of work, and this body of work, I also started a new um, medium, which is encaustic, which I'll talk about a little bit more later. And this body of work really stems from a lot of personal experiences. And for me, the, okay, this body of work is about our, um, the fact that we get old, the fact that we hurt, that our bodies fall apart, that we die, that, we, that this flesh of ours is impermanent, that it just doesn't work right, and that there's a cause behind that, and that we, that it isn't, that there's something wrong in our world and in our fleshly selves, and that on top of that we have a other part to ourselves, an eternal self and as a Christian that eternal self I believe has a perfect existence that contrasts with this fleshly existence that's falling apart so we have this eternal forever existence that will end up being going to heaven and having um, this pain free forever existence and then I, the body of work also has the kind of concurrent place where these two things meet with spiritual healing. But the reason that I really started this body of work is because about four years ago, maybe four and a half, I was in a car accident. And in that accident, I got some kind of neck injury and it caused me to have chronic migraines and for about a year and a half I had a migraine every single day which is not exactly pleasant but thankfully it was relatively controllable with medication but then I had surgery and after surgery that has helped a lot but even still I have a lot of different problems with, I still get a lot of headaches, I have a lot of back problems, and I just, for being still young, I have a lot of physical issues that tell me that this world is, I'm sorry, 
this world is not right. Obviously, this work is very personal to me. I hate that it makes me upset whenever I talk about it, but on the other hand, it, it's very important to me to talk about what is truly deeply important to who I am and what my relationship is to this world in my art. And so when I was thinking about what is it that is important to, to me and how do I work through these issues and the fact that this makes me kind of angry and it makes me question what what does this relationship have with how I believe in my creator and how I believe how he made us. So I started really looking into what God says in his word about pain and what he says about our flesh and what he says about death and what he says conversely about eternal life and what he says about heaven and what he says about healing and so I've been slowly working on a lot of pieces that have all of these um, all of these different types of themes in them so what I do is I pick a specific scripture and that ha that I've found that I feel like really represents that particular um, that particular piece that is really important to me at the time so um, I have actually three that I've picked out so do you mind following me so because I meant to bring my Bible with me but I forgot so I actually thankfully have written them down so, this one is, oh, this one's the, yeah, it's okay. This one is Psalm 73:26. So, the scripture reference to this one is, My flesh and my heart I fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. So, this particular piece actually was one of the first pieces that I made. And it was very soon after I had my surgery. So this piece is specifically personal for me because it's about what causes my migraines and how I've dealt with it and how my personal flesh has failed. So like I have the prescription pills I've take I take and I have the non-prescription pills I've taken actually embedded in this piece and I have the neurons which is part of what is wrong with me because what has happened is I have scar tissue that's pressing on my occipital nerve so I have a drawing embedded in this encaustic that's of the occipital nerves that it's creating this false impression that there's something wrong so my brain is thinking that there's some kind of something wrong and therefore it thinks that there's this pain sensor but it's because there's this scar tissue continually pressing on these nerves so and then I have little surgery sutures and everything and so it has all of these different layers of um, embedded meaning within this wax so and then the next piece I have is down this way. This one is 1 Corinthians 15 50, and it is I, de I declare to you, brothers, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. So, with this one, I really felt like the scripture is really talking about that there's this dichotomy, that there's these two places, that there's the kingdom of God and then there's this flesh and blood world, that they're separate, that our flesh and blood world, that when we're 
here in the flesh, it doesn't necessarily, like, we, this part of us doesn't have to go to heaven. So this has all of these parts that are going to die away, and it has the hair and the fingernails and the kind of mess of what our flesh is. And then up here I have the symbols that I use a lot for the more heavenly realm, which I have a lot of, in a lot of my pieces I'll use circles, so I'll have three circles, which to me circles end up um, symbolizing the divine presence of God and because of the perfection of what a circle is, that it's never ending and it doesn't have any corners or blemishes and it's mathematically that perfect unending number. And I also feel like having the three circles which is the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So a lot of my pieces have those three circles. So um, this top piece is that heavenly realm.